Welcome to the first post-eviction interview of Reality Resort. I'm Victoria Moore, sitting here with fresh evictee Seth Barbo of the Exotic Emus. Tell me, Seth, how are you feeling right now? What's going on in your head? Uh, a whole lot of pissed off is what's going on. Can't help but feel embarrassed, though. I refuse to believe I'm that washed up. Do you think your performance here draws parallels to your performance on the field? Hell nah. I'm a competitor, but you don't compete against your own teammates. This show was set up for me to fail. Hmm, <laughs> right. Well, I was trying to give you an opportunity to identify some... character quirks, I'll say, that might be preventing you from reaching to your full potential. But I guess that fell on deaf ears. I am actually partially deaf in my left ear, so checks out. Anywho, is there anyone in particular you think is to blame for your eviction? Who do you feel is most responsible? Man, I don't know. Gotta be somebody on the other squad. Whoever's bright idea was to nominate me, well, let's just say it's better for them that I ain't there anymore. If you had to take a guess at who on the Toucans is responsible for your nomination, who would you say? Beats me. Wouldn't be surprised if it was that Annalise chick, though. <laughs> Thought we were getting along well, but apparently she didn't even try and save me. Whatever. Speaking of her, do you have any regrets with the way you approach this game? What does she got to do with that question? No, no, no. My only regret was signing up for this in the first place. <laughs> really? There's nothing you would do over again? I mean, I guess I could repair for that bogus challenge a bit more, but even then, it wasn't in my favor. If the props had been the size of baseballs, though, then we'd be talking a different story. Totally, because throwing that rock definitely worked out for the best. <clears throat> I think I know the answer to this already, but I'll ask anyway. Was this game what you expected? Not at all. Those tryhards were killing the mood. <laughs> I thought it would have been a bit more chill. You're competing for $250,000. Don't you think that would entice people to act a little more cutthroat? <laughs> Devious? Ooh. Motivated? Hmm? Sure. Money would have been real nice. It's a big reason why I'm still chasing this dream. But it still don't change my answer. I see. So what exactly did you expect this game to be? Clearly you came on for the exposure to attempt a career resurrection. But did you think you would just be lounging around all day? Man, I don't know. I didn't put that much thought into it. Just need a change. Didn't hurt this on a remote out. <laughs> I guess I thought the challenges would be a little more geared in my favor though, you know? I'm not that dense. I knew not going to college might hurt me at some point. Now there's some self-awareness! Too bad it's regarding your least relevant flaw. Thanks for answering these questions, Seth. You might not have won or even come close to it, but hopefully you got something out of this experience. I got no money, no numbers, and no action. And we can only wonder why. <clears throat> now before you go, we have some goodbye messages for you from some of your fellow tourists. If you do so kindly, turn to the monitor here. Dude, tough to see you go. I'd love to catch back up with you after the show sometime. Maybe help you put together some sort of routine, you know? <laughs> yeah. Good luck out there, man. Hope to see you in the big leagues someday. Seth, you put together valiant effort, but I'm afraid you didn't prepare well enough. And once only, that was your demise so long. As president, it's on me to get rid of any problems that arise. Bro, I could tell you were going to be one of them. <laughs> Consider this a wake-up call. You got potential, but your dude is a real turn-off. See you later, Seth. Thanks for the attention. I was worried I might not have gotten any here. Good luck. Shooting touchdowns and throwing goals. <laughs> Man, that girl's a tease and a half. And Brad, what a tool. Any other last words, Seth? 
Nah, I'm ready to get back to baseball. Hoping to see some calls on my phone once I get it back. <laughs> I expected nothing less. Well, once again, thank you for playing, Seth. That'll do it for us. Don't forget to tune in to the next episode of Reality Resort. Stay safe and stay sane.